Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against uh, KZT Lord Tinka and Kinsav Jiktop UK UA, and uh, I'm gonna be with Chahine and Nuruk. Alright, now if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of more contents like this and work streams coming out from my channel. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm gonna be the yellow player, so obviously I'm gonna go for the ocean, Nuruk, and Chahine, the red player. Now we go skip to the juicy part here. Now obviously I'm only going to make one barracks here. Alright, and uh, yep, add more supply centers here as well as that research facility for that hero. I already informed my partner that I'm going to be collecting this container and this container right here to of course up my base development. Here goes, so I'm going to have to collect those containers right there. Okay, sneaky peeky, those diamonds. All right, now I'm going to opt out for an alligator real quick. However, uh, we're I'm not gonna make it, lol. Okay, so alligator on the way. Wasp has not yet been produced as well. My wasp can't really take on this many stuff here, like that of the Delta and so on. Okay, Delta trying to obtain that super container and obviously I'm not going to be able to make it since those Deltas can like literally 1v2 my Kaiman because at this point my Kaiman were not maxed. And uh, here goes, I'm using the uh, Alligator here with the gold scouting boost. However, this CN player also used a naval scouting boost himself. So yeah, kind of great deal. Okay, so only got one container here from this guy right here and then let's see how Chahine is doing quietly developing his base same thing for Nuru going for that juicy mole meanwhile on my end I'm still opting out for that seven supply centers and enable platform to prevent or zone out any early attacks okay we see right here um blue and CM player going after or positioning himself to attack uh, Chahine. Okay. So, I'm going to have to use Naval Scouting Boost to extend the range of that Alligator. Alligatora. There he goes. Damaging as many things as I can to help him out. You know, soften those Deltas up so he can destroy them swiftly. There ya go, my man. No problemo. Now, at this point, since I already got this much resources, I wanted to go for the Leviathan. And I'm going to have to save that resources there for later use. Okay, here goes the engagement. He's gonna go for that ooh, assault kind of thing. He's retreating back to his base. What a wise decision. Mole is already on the way to vehicle factory in the special vehicle factory. He's actually preparing for that Seraphim stuff. Delta's right here from this guy. Okay, safe from any Delta rushes or any Seraphim rushes as it's already the five minute mark. Already adding that Factory level 3, HQ level 4, adding a power plant, and then of course that AVF factory for the Dragonfly. Good scout right there by that. Um, uh, gold scouted uh, Coyote. Oh. Kablooey. Alright. Uh. Ah. Lol. Okay, there goes the mole here from Chahine. Getting rid of that Cerberus. Wow, I mean, that those, those small turrets just evaporated real quick from in front of the Cerberus. Now, if you may have noticed, I'm trying to cut off the reinforcement by placing my alligators here and, like, you know, destroy any units that that is rallied over to this location to cut off the reinforcement route. Okay, there you go. Switching to naval attack boost. Okay, as much as possible, uh... Bruising that uh, Cerberus, depleting the passive, which is very, very nice. Okay, partner. Okay, not okay, not bad. Okay, he's doing great. Um, second uh, Avia factory being placed, more Alligatoras, of course. At this point, at this point in time, the enemy might actually have more Vikings than I do, or than my um, my Alligatora. Okay. 
porcupine right here we see porcupine look at the damage of that porcupine oh goodness man that that setup he really needs some nerf man seriously <laughs> Okay, using the uh, construction boost to speed up the upgrade process of that research facility, I got like the uh, dragonflies around here to support the uh, alligatoras, just in case I might get outnumbered, as I'm not expecting a Poseidon at this early in the game. Okay, again, vertex guy here, I can see, I can hear a plane, ooh, what a ver very nice vertex micro here from the blue guy. Okay, he's just letting it be. Super container appearing right here. I got like a hidden rifleman around here. Going HQ level 4. Already HQ 4. Already a Leviathan in production. And then I got like 3 shipyards around here. Oh, you're threading. Oh, wow. Okay. Poseidon. Okay. Very bad. Very bad. I'm going to have to retreat my uh, dragonflies. Okay. So third shipyard on the way and uh, I'll be going I'll go ahead and spam that um, Alligatora okay from three factories there you go okay oh a lot is already at the nine minute mark a little bit late but whatever okay so he's now in trouble as he doesn't have the Leviathan out just yet oh he actually has just that this the Confederation got it out sooner the Solaris got was you know like out sooner because you know it's can fed tech and it's cheaper. Oh wow, that's a solid hit. That was a very solid hit. Although that uh, Solaris did take some damage right there, and now I'm using my Leviathan to go over this location in the hopes of preparing, Ch uh, you know, like assisting Chahine with the attack or pressuring the blue player. And I also have the Alligatoras right here right here as i'm expecting my partner to have some alligator so he can actually compensate for the loss of uh, command points due to the dragonflies okay here we go we got like three zeus a typhoon and a shield typical confed stuff relying on the hero okay i'm going to have to retreat here for a moment with those dragonflies that i got and then again we're using a common uh, common construction or common production rather uh, common production boost okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to run away here as of course I'm flanked and uh, this CN guy has a t literally ton of alligator okay and here we go we got this right here I got like I don't know man I got like seven dragon fly okay positioning my alligators in a straight line preparing for that massive engagement Okay, oh dude, just how many is that? Okay, not really that many. Apparently, it's just two Zeus, a Solaris, and so on. Okay, now I advised my partner, uh, Chahine, that I'll go over this cliff in the hopes of attacking this guy from, from this side of the base, as he might actually not expect me going over here and attacking right in front of his doorstep. And here we go, partner, now having some trouble over here. Okay, it's, and it's now under attack by what? Zeus. Two Zeus and a Solaris. Okay, here we go now. We're in the vicinity of this guy's base. I'm going to have to attack. There you go. Okay. And I'm actually using an air raid boost here as opposed to come and attack since those vertex just popped out of nowhere. Okay, one vertex is down. Okay, he's targeting my uh, Leviathan. Okay, a nuke has been dropped. Again, the mistake here was me using that air raid boost and this guy right here attacked me on the ocean and that's really really bad okay going back around here those vertex are still attacking my uh okay i switched the naval attack boost however it's a little bit too late but whatever man whatever the damage been dealt i destroyed a factory x facility and so on 
But again, I switched to Air Raid Boost, and again, my Vikings or Alligators are actually outranged by those Alligators. Alrighty. Okay, Vertex still here trying to impede the attack of those uh, Leviathans that I got right here, and I'm using the uh, Dragonflies to attack the the typhoons so that the typhoons attention are to, directed towards my dragonfly and i'm using a recovery boost to recover the hp of my uh leviathan as much as possible however the damage has been dealt on the ocean i'm going to be shredded by those vikings as i used up a uh, recovery boost in an air raid boost in the middle of a naval fight so it's not really looking good here for me my leviathan went down right after being slashed by six uh vertex for like forever but still the damage has been dealt an avia factory airfield thor and so on has been massively destroyed we see the battle right here and i'm gonna get owned by those number of vikings and at this point i'm actually losing it man i canceled all the alligators produced that um leviathan okay I'm just gonna have to rely on Tahini to do well here and that Thor will be destroyed by destroying a uh, porcupine. Oh man, come on. Nice pick off man, nice pick off. Okay, that vertex has been destroyed. Both of his chameleons run out of energy. I advise Tahini that I'll be moving over to this location outside the range of those Poseidons. Meanwhile, my partner here, Naruk, will also be in trouble as of course I actually failed the engagement on the ocean for using a different boost and here we go oh wow that's a massive land army and here goes Nuruk as well being uh, on top of the purple player let's see how this goes oh man that my, what a small base with this is okay gun tower pitching into attack the Vikings here from the sea amp player trying to help out the HQ is gone. He's trying to rebuild it as the blue player. And then, of course, those Jaguars are now going to overpower this uh, blue player right here. Nothing much he can do about this. Yes, their Solaris is strong, but not as strong as that many, um, that many Jaguars, man. Bam! Okay, one shot, one kill. There you go. HQ is still alive. I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, not attack those uh, things right there with my Leviathan since four Poseidons can shred my Leviathan apart. Okay, HQ is going down here from the blue guy. Okay, Nuruk trying to retreat here. And those Vikings are shredding his base. No more HQ for him. And my HQ will also be destroyed, but not at right after I re used up the reconstruction boost to reconstruct the administrative buildings that I lost which is very important as it will gain me resources over time so I'm going to use emergency measure to gain more uh, to gain more power to power up those supply centers and uh, yep okay Chahine right here destroying the leftover base of this blue guy right here and I advised Chahine that I'll move over here with my Leviathan Okay, now, partner in very big trouble, and that HQ is being built. I wish you could have built it right around here, outside the range of those Poseidons, as I did myself. Okay, Wasp will be produced here on my end. Ooh, Serafima trying to be annoying as to attack and deplete or destroy Chahine's base. Okay, my Leviathan is too slow! Because that's just about it, man. I wish I could increase the speed by just a tiny bit. Okay, now Wasp here. Trying to fly away. And now I'm going to have to rebuild the HQ that I have lost later on. Okay. I'm going to have to try and obtain that super container around here. As it will gain us bonus. Okay. Ooh, come on, man. That's so many. Oh, and that's a lot. Of... Ooh, barely. Barely escaping that alive. Okay, Chahine doing a great job here cleaning up the red players or the blue players base. Meanwhile, Nuruk on the other hand, destroying the purple players base with the absence of the main forces as it tries to help out both the CN and the blue player defend on land. Okay, now we see here Nuruk having that HQ are at the very bottom side of the map. 
Ooh, and a Delta right here trying to obtain that super container, but of course I'm not gonna allow it. Leviathan is already here. Let's see what'll happen here. Okay. Nuruk is almost successful with uh, destroying or laying wings to the purple player's base. Very, very good. However, the presence of the Solaris came back to the base. And let's see how this turns out. Majority of the Typhoons has been destroyed by those army from Nuruk. Okay. Gaining that super container right there. HQ being rebuilt, upgrading it. Wow. What a crazy match this is. Alright, man. His army will be obliterated and... Ooh. Man. That construction yard is so low. Oh, Solaris. We see a Solaris right there at the bottom. My Leviathan is already here and I'm gonna have to try and cause some mayhem on the CN player's base. He's going HQ level 5 at this point and I'm just going after that X facility. Nuruk's Leviathan is still alive. Oh, wow. Spamming infantry. Okay, now. And so we see the uh, Seraphim here. Kablooey! Alright. Seraphim is down for the count. There you go. Oh, solid hit. Three Leviathans now. Solid hit. And then the nuclear dropping right after the acid burst has been dropped. Boom. Solid damage right there, my man. Okay, HQ has been destroyed. There's not really that much this guy can do now at this point with three Leviathans present. Like... Deltas is actually a good thing, however, it's actually too late. Oh, the HQ is so low in HP. Boom. It'll go down. However, I'm actually getting back my, you know, my, my base here. And I'm opting out for a barracks here for a, uh, whatever spamming of the Grenadura. <laughs> oh, man. What a crazy match. Three Leviathans, again, using the recovery boost. To recover the HP of my Leviathan. Wasp is still alive. Chilling there. Very good. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. Smash the like button. Ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. And, of course, let me know what are your thoughts into this video. Likewise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your balance. GG. Oh, and Nuru has that there. Kablooey! GG guys. Partners in boy. Mm. <laughs> Dual nuke. GG.